Here we are with Jujutsu Kaisen episode 6. And yeah, last episode Itadori died. And I guess this episode he comes back to life. And I guess we will have a mini trainings arc or tournament arc, I would guess. Mm, that's what it sounds like at least. Um, what they are going to do now. And then I guess we get lots of new characters introduced. But yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. Going back again into his domain. Oh. <clears throat> That's very interesting. <laughs> he wants to fight. I wonder if they will start fighting or not. I guess I would imagine Itadori wouldn't have the best chances, right? This shot with Gojo always confuses the fuck out of me. It always looks for me like we see from below up the tower, but I think we look from from the sky down to him. Because we can't see like his full legs standing on top of it, right? <clears throat> because on how we can see Gojo, it looks like we see from top down to him and can see his full body, but... From the shot, it looks like it, we look d from down up to him. It always confuses the heck out of me. <laughs> After rain. That's my plan. No, this is your body. Damn. <coughs> Yeah, I would say not a chance. <laughs> yep. Too fast. <laughs> nah. Wow. The disrespect. The disrespect. Wow, okay, what is what are his conditions? Oh <coughs> that took his interest. Okay. Wait what? Oh, okay, okay. Unless it's demons, uh, curses, right? Contract? A pact. <clears throat> who 
Okay, sounds like good conditions, I would say. Sounds like good conditions to me. Interesting. So he just wants to take over for one minute at a time. <laughs> but what if he just says, enchant, 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 and just keeps going? I guess he will... Lose. <laughs> <laughs> this is very interesting. <clears throat> Why? <laughs> Ask me. What is this dream? Oh, that's this dream. That's interesting, I would say. <laughs> then kill those two. Yeah, right. <clears throat> and then they can take over. <laughs> okay, new characters. Man. I guess that really hit him that he died. And here he goes. <laughs> Full frontal. <laughs> Meanwhile, puts us on. So, how can you kill him? <laughs> Not dead. Yet. Okay. All right. Man, Gojo is a good guy. Very in interesting how Gojo's character is. Wow. <laughs> So he has a feeling for monsters, curses? Okay. Prison realm. <clears throat> You there, go over. Okay, he's like, no, I'm out before he can send me. Okay, they can feel the heat.
Wow. What the fuck? Dead. What? So he is strong. He looks goofy, but he's strong apparently. I said seal him, not kill him. What's so hard to understand about it? Dude, this is... Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, that woman. Oh, he got the name tag. I guess normally he wouldn't go here to do this kind of stuff, I would imagine. I guess he's just doing it because of Itadori. Because he still thinks that Itadori is dead. <clears throat> wow. What's happening with her? Is a panda throwing her? Yep. <laughs> what the fuck? Falling practice. I guess Gojo, uh, Gojo, I guess Itadori is not joining here. Because he's training with Gojo. Okay. Curse training. <clears throat> also, he knows that. the strongest. That means you would have to be stronger than Gojo. <laughs> wow. It's like Jedi Force Grip. <laughs> I don't get it. And the same, you do the same with your body. So more like mind games? <laughs> no, I don't think you have that kind of power. Power bomb, okay. Oh, 
Spirit Gun Bankai? Rising Gun? What the fuck? Kamehameha? So, is Cursed Energy based on like body or mind? The OST. <clears throat> Just be negative. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that? Someone's talking about me. <laughs> so, is Gojo training with Itadori for like one and a half months? Paint a spark. Oh, <laughs> what? He keeps him awake, punches him when he falls asleep. <laughs> okay. Is he supposed to learn about feelings and emotions this way? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> okay. So stay frosty. You're yeah, right. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Maybe you can have like I think like brass knuckles wouldn't work. <laughs> Interesting. Right. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe not beat him, but maybe control him or have him like in check or something. Debuff him. Oh, Nubara.
Which wire, girl? <laughs> Woman's intuition. And he does. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I love this little bear <laughs> He knows Yeah, he forgot about it. So how does he know that when Sukuna says enchant, or whatever it is, or enhance, that he switches? Or is it just happening automatically? Hmm. <laughs> And there's this guy, okay. Did he realize that this guy was coming? I guess he knew, right? I guess he sensed him. And the end. so that the other guy isn't getting hurt, he sent him away. <clears throat> I definitely have to rewatch a few parts about this episode because there was so much information in this episode. <clears throat> But yeah, something I'm wondering about is like, is curse energy coming like from your body? And you control it basically with your body by like sending out curse energy or something? Or is it more like from your mind that you control it with your mind? Like when Gojo like twisted and crunched the two cans, was it like that he thought about it in his mind and it happened? Or did he send like out energy from his body and it happened? Because I mean, the you can use the curse energy to make a barrier right and i would imagine that that happens with your body that you give out like a pulse of curse energy i guess like you 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 have it as like an aura around you maybe and that's a barrier but very interesting that you can use curse curse energy and like do stuff with it like over distance because we saw him, when he tried to destroy the finger, Sukuna's finger, he used his hand to send out a pulse or something, a, a shockwave, and nothing happened. But he, he didn't use his body at all, I think. Boy in trouble. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think about this episode. But yeah, I rewatched the episode and I took some notes here. Um because it has a lot of inf it had a lot of information and reading all at once, especially the part where Itadori was on the ground and was saying stuff like, Yeah, I want to learn a Bankai, Rasengan, Kamehameha and all that stuff while reading everything that Gojo said was a bit too much for me. Um so Okay, you have curse energy, that's basically what everyone can use, and you have curse techniques, which you are basically born with. And so you want to, which is basically comes from emotions, right? But you want to learn to control your emotions because you can't just go full rage mode and go all out because it will exhaust you. It's kind of like stamina, you could say, I guess. So you want to learn to control it so that you can permanently like just give out a bit of curse energy all the time. 
to use everything like your barriers and all that stuff and <clears throat> i guess if you want to go all out then you can go more into emotions right but you want to like control it so that you just give out a little bit of emotions and not like all out so that you get exhausted and so yeah that's very interesting i would say that you learn it basically i mean it makes sense right and so yeah i guess movies are a pretty good way to do it because some movies are boring and when they get boring you maybe get annoyed by it i guess if you watch a movie you don't want to watch and then it just goes on and on and you get maybe annoyed or it's very boring which is all emotions right and that would trigger the bear so you always have to stay like <clears throat> in a neutral position more or less right i mean i guess neutral would be maybe like no curse energy at all so yeah i guess it's a bit complicated <laughs> um <clears throat> but yeah very interesting especially that curse techniques are basically you are born with it right so and yeah he also said that eventually he will learn Su uh, sukuna's curse techniques which makes sense right if sukuna is in his body and all that stuff and they bond maybe more that he will maybe eventually get the hang of it and just it gets ingrained in his body or something um and what is also very interesting is that they have the pact which itadori is not remembering that every time uh, uh sukuna says enchant that he will take over his body for like one minute or that he will switch but if itadori can't remember the pact how is he switching maybe it's just that it automatically triggers right that he has no control over it that would be very weird and i wonder why Ita why uh, sukuna wants to, to do that i mean he now made the pact that he won't kill anyone in that one minute i guess except curses right but no people or something and couldn't he just trigger it all the time by saying enchant 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 every time and just keep triggering it or maybe there's like a cooldown on it which we don't know about yet um so i wonder why why does he want to do that why does he want to limit him so much right i mean he could have used other conditions right maybe hey you can use my you can switch with me whenever well, however you want whenever whenever you want and like but sundays sundays i want to take over or something right <laughs> but he just says every time he says enchant it's one minute only so hmm. could itadori switch with sukuna more than that if it come if if uh, itadori wants to switch or is it really like limited to this one minute now maybe it's just one minute when sukuna wants to come out when he says enchant but otherwise they can still switch because what i'm getting at here is basically what if there's like a really dangerous enemy and one minute is not enough to beat him right so that sukuna is maybe like enchant then they switch and then one minute is not enough then he would maybe need more of sukuna's more of sukuna taking over so then and if there's a cooldown on it then maybe he would have to switch with sukuna by himself right if that's possible um because i guess there will be moments like that right that one minute might not be enough i guess we will see right but yeah very interesting episode lots of information again on all these curse stuff and interesting also to see how gojo's character is basically that what his goal is basically right he says he's not really a good teacher but he wants to do this so that he can like reform the whole jujutsu world because all the people on the top are just assholes and douches and everything and so he wants to uh nurture new students new jujutsu students make them good so that eventually i guess they take over they reform the whole jujutsu world and so that everyone can basically live a good life that's like one of his things um which was very upsetting for him that itadori died so early because he couldn't live his life he couldn't live a good life i guess so but yeah now itadori has another chance and i guess that makes gojo happy so it's very interesting to see how gojo is that he's like super strong kind of awkward and funny and carefree and then has like such a high goal basically to protect people to give them a good life a happy life and wants to basically reform a whole system in the whole jujitsu system 
So it's very interesting. And I mean, this is just episode six, so I guess we will find out way more about Gojo, which could be even more interesting than what we know right now about him. But yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.